Hey guys, it's Callum again, and today I'll be reviewing the film Bright. Bright is about an alternate present day where there's humans, orcs, owls and fairies that have been coexisting since the beginning of time. Two police officers, one human and another's orc, go out on a routine night patrol that will change everything, battling both their own personal differences as well as their enemies. They must work together to protect a young female elf and a thought to be forgotten relic, which in the wrong hands could destroy everything. Now here's the trailer for Bright. Why is there a fairy in the bird feeder again? Good afternoon, officer. Fairy lives don't matter today. That's it right there. Now take the little homie out LAPD style like you do. Oh, and uh, you keep doing all your gangster stuff. I'm just trying to sell my house. Don't worry about that. Everybody's just trying to get along and have a good life. All of the races are different. Just because they're different doesn't mean anybody's better or worse than anybody. Hey, uh, where's the diversity hire? I got a dude in my car. I didn't ask for it, but the whole world is watching. Boy, it's okay. You don't like me. Man, I'm not out here to be your friend. I need to know if shit pop off that you got my back. Can't hide it, Ward. Humans have physical tells. Like the face. What's my face? The human who needs a lot more conjugal love type face. Do not wink at me like that. All Westlake units requesting assistance. Three out of nine, show us en route. Shouldn't we wait for the cavalry? We are the cavalry. What is it? Taller or shorter? You want ten million dollars? You're not stealing that why. You gotta get out of this neighborhood. That's just the dark side of me. They're gonna kill you, then me. And that's when the stupid shit's gonna start. I'm not afraid of the dark. Oh. Magic wand. We have to secure it. I'm already knowing it. Out of the academy. No, they do not. I am not afraid. I am not afraid. You're gonna keep coming. I am not afraid. I am not afraid. Let's do it. Some days I can't get out of my head. That's just the dark side of me. We might be in a prophecy. We're not in a prophecy. We're in a stolen Toyota Corolla. Let's get to the review. Now, I've heard really bad things about this film, and even someone saying it was the worst film of 2017. This really put me off of watching the film, and I waited a long time to watch this film after I heard someone say that. But then I thought, you know what? I'm not doing anything. I'll give it a go. But in my opinion, after watching this film, are you ready? I actually really enjoyed it, and I would definitely recommend it. A hundred percent recommend it, even if you just, it just, even if you don't like films. It's I can't say it's like fairies or it's like not like Lord of the Rings, but it's it's different. It different, yeah, I, yeah, it's different. I thought Will Smith played his character great. I do like Will Smith. I remember watching him in Bad Boys back in the day, and just and even he's. I, I didn't even like Suicide Squad, but his character Suicide Squad, he made that character. If you know what I mean, he just brings. I just do enjoy watching his films. The film didn't feel slow. It felt like it was running smoothly and smoothly with the story. I do wish I could have seen this in the cinema, but it was on Netflix. That would have been amazing if I got to see this in the cinema. But I think it would have got a better rating if it was shown on the big screen. At some points in the film, it, like I said before, it does remind me of how Will Smith was. It was he was in Bad Boys. It, the characters were like the same, but obviously in different universes. 
I do enjoy the relationship between the two partners. They do have differences in that. I don't want to spoil anything if you've not seen the film, but them two together do play really well together. The sci-fi in this film is spot on. The graphics and that is quality, and I would highly recommend it. The only downside I can think of at the moment is that it could have had more action scenes or scenes of what happens more in Elf City and that. You don't really get to see what happens in Elf City. You just see, like, you go in it for a split few few t two minutes and that. But, yeah, just I would like to see more. I would like to see a sequel, yeah. I heard they are doing it. But um, I would like to see more of other characters' perspectives and that. And I think that would be really good. So I would give the film a rating of 7.5 out of 10. I was pushing it 8. I don't know if the fanboy in me coming out was nearly 8 out of 10, but I did really enjoy it, so I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. So, you tell me what you thought of this film. If you've not seen it, have a watch. I do recommend it. Enjoy the rest of your day or night, and take care.